square inventory management tutorial hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can manage and track your inventory using square so having said that let's just jump into the video now i'm over here onto their website called squareup.com and over here as you can see this is how it looks like now we're going to go ahead and quickly sign up onto their website and get started so to get started just simply click on the get started button over here or the sign in and then sign up button later on so i'm just simply going to go ahead and click on the get started button and we'll get started and over here all you have to do is just quickly sign up so simply enter in your email address confirm your email address create a password and then click on continue so i'm going to go ahead and fill out this form catch you guys in a second and boom as you can see over here our account has now been created now they're just gonna set it up and over here you have to answer a little bit of questions like you know tell us about your business what kind of business you are in uh, individual we'll go with that what is your business name address city zip code and all of that and once you've done that just simply click on continue and then what kind of business do you run photography consulting design clothing and all of that so in this one we'll go ahead and go with clothing and accessories yeah and then we'll click on continue then it's going to save all of your profile and then they're going to ask you where do you sell so brick and mortar location on the go at an event through a square online store uh, through pay links and buttons and all of that so we'll just say on an online store and create and then we have some options over here that can help us to get started like creating an item catalog managing payroll set up gift shops and all of that so you can go ahead and do all of that so i'm going to choose create an item catalog or, and all of that but you can skip this for now and do all of this later right so we can skip this start taking payments sell right away by verifying some information so you can quickly go ahead and do that and then just simply adding in your details and you should be good to go and once you have logged in this is how it's going to look like so pretty simple nothing too crazy right very simple now over here on the left side you have all of your options such as items orders customers payments reports and all of that and then in the middle the, on your dashboard there's basically your uh, daily reports gross sales payment types you know categories transaction all of that and it's pretty simple and over here you have your quick access so if you click on edit you can edit which one you want or which one you don't want and if you click on the hamburger menu it's going to open up the menu over here now as you can see we are at home then if you want to see some subscriptions you click on the subscriptions option and you can set up and create a plan over here you know on your website and then you have your reports over here as you can see a more detailed version of the dashboard and then you have all products items and orders customers payments reporting and e-commerce right so first things first let's go ahead and create a customer so to create a customer is over here you will click on the button and it's going to pop up this pill just simply click on that op button and it's going to open up the directory over here okay so as you can see we have no contacts over here so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create one so to create a customer just simply click on this button right here or you can import them as well if you already have a file csv file then you can import all of your customers but if not you can just simply click on this button over here create a customer and then over here you can add in your first name your last name uh you know their phone numbers you know their email address their addresses as well and then you have your groups companies and all of that so let's go ahead and create a customer so first name i'm gonna say you know john john doe and then over here let's say he's from let's say he's from the united states and then over here we add in the number and then also the email address uh, i'm going to be using a temporary email address I'm pasting over it here and address is of course in united states street number one i'm just you know this is basically a random number street number one apartment 12 new york and then in states it's going to be new york zip code is i believe 19 something so i'll just say that and you can add a group of it you can add the company reference id and a birthday as well so october and then in the year of 19 1989 and then just simply click on save there you go you have successfully created a contact over here as you can see you will have it over here john doe you have your contact and their number as well so let me just reload the page so that we can see it over here 
over here as you can see we have reloaded the page and as you can see the contact is over here so next what we can do is we can go ahead and add different items as well let me just show you we'll click over here go back to home and over here we're going to create an item now you can go ahead and click on items and orders over here and add them or you can click on add an item over here so first let's go ahead and add an item so over here you have a bunch of different options you have item library image library modifiers category discounts and a bunch of other settings right so we're gonna just simply click on item library it's loading up over here so let's it load up so over here as you can see we have no item as of yet so what we'll do is we'll click on create an item over here and then over here we can add the item name the category it belongs to but as you can see we only have this category bakery that i created earlier so before i do that let me just go into categories over here and i'll just delete this one and create a new one over here i'm gonna say clothes or maybe shirts as well you know and we'll click on save there we go we have a category created and let's go back to the item library and create an item over here by clicking on the create an item button We'll assign it to shirts and then over here I'll say black shirt. And then over here we can add in the color or we can drag and upload our own image as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the image. We're going to upload our image of the shirt and then we have that over here and we'll click on done. There we go. And then we can add like the description of this, uh, you know, product. Let's say it's a 100% cotton black shirt or something like that. And then we can add the locations over here, all location. And then you can go ahead and add other options like an SKU number, you know, add your price per uh, product. So we'll just say 5,000 rupees. That's like, I think $50 or something. I believe maybe I'm not sure. Let's go with four actually, or maybe two. That's like $2,000. That's like $200. That's like $20. Yeah, $20. And then we just simply click on save. And then you have your shirt all right and as you can see we don't have it in stock so let's go ahead and put it in stock as well you can add your stock over here as you can see click on add low stock manage stocks over here add variants you can add custom contributes as well so let's go ahead and manage it on the stocks stocks received we'll just say 15 all right there we go and we'll click on done and then we'll just simply click on save there you go we have it installed and everything else so you can go ahead and go into units and you know add some of the units you know in units you can add uh, the weight of the product so i have pounds you can add more you can add in kilograms or stuff like that as you can see categories you can even create discount codes over here so that people can add those discount codes while checking out so that they can you know get a discount and everything is pretty simple so over here as you can see pretty simple next all you have to do is just set up your payments and over here you have subscription options as well so just simply click over here you can add subscriptions or you can click on plans and you can create a plan for yourself as well simply click over here let's go ahead and create a plan uh it looks like something went wrong or something but you know you get the general idea of what it is so pretty simple that's all the things you needed to know about and then you also have e-commerce as well so you have online sales channels just simply click over here connect your product to a sales channels and you should be good to go uh it's loading up there we go so over here this is your online sales challenge right now it's pos pickup over here but you can go ahead and edit that out later so pretty simple that is all the things you need to know about on square up and how you can manage its inventory so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye